don't go there every day, but yeah. <laughs> yeah so, okay. so um, Travis, it was such a pleasant, pleasant surprise to be here and talk to you about oh, Maggie's plan. Thank uh, you. I have to say, your character added some real humor and charm to this film. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, I'm curious. Like uh, you seem like uh, a very serious actor. Have you ever had any experience in comedic roles? Um, I love comedy. It just I don't know. You sometimes you gotta take a job that's there and do jobs that um, help your career and that. But I've always loved comedy and do any comedy. You know, maybe I'm just not funny. <laughs> that's why they haven't given me. No, but it was a great. It was a great experience on Maggie's plan. It's such a, the whole script is so quirky and enjoyable and a great cast, and um, I really enjoyed working on it. Speaking of quirky, you play this pickle entrepreneur character. Yeah. How would you describe this guy? I would just reckon cool. <laughs> Travis Pickles. Uh, he's pretty smart. He's though. a bit socially awkward. Yeah. I suppose, but yeah, he's a very intelligent character. But he's very socially awkward, and um, he he close talks a bit. He like talks in people's personal space, and um, I think he's just very socially awkward. Do you think that he's he always have that feeling for Greta's character, Maggie? But yeah. afraid, afraid to show it because yeah, of for rejections? Sure. Well, I don't think he knows how to show it either. He's a bit awkward. I think he's a bit maybe off-putting. Introvert? Yeah, but I think his heart's in the right place. And um, yeah, but I think he really likes it and he, um, he doesn't know how to express it. Um, maybe charmingly or, or um, non-awkwardly. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Good, good description about this this mm. character. So I talked to Miss Rebecca Miller yesterday, the yeah. director of uh, Maggie's Plan, and uh, she said that apparently her husband, the brilliant Daniel Day Lewis, uh, suggested her you for the role of pickle entrepreneur. Were you aware of that? Um, yes, just very recently I heard of that. But um, yeah, that's a uh, jeez. I think he's one of the best actors in the world. I didn't know he drank so much and watched Vikings, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he must have been pretty drunk when he told his missus that. No, because he was watching Vikings, your number one very successful TV show on the History Channel. He's a big fan of, of Vikings, so that's yeah. why he said, God, you know what? This is a great plug for Vikings. You know, you know he's Watch like, Vikings. he's like, babe, Thursdays <laughs> on the History Channel. History Channel. Yes. So she's like, there goes your guy for Maggie's plan. That's exactly hey. what she said. No, I was very lucky. I mean, Jesus, it's such a great cast, so I'm very grateful to be amongst that cast. And um, yeah, I'm really surprised they gave me the job, to be honest. And speaking of Vikings, I have, mm -hmm. I have to ask you, because you have so many fans out there that they want to know about Vikings. Mm -hmm. um, are there plans to be fifth season? Or yeah. Is, or is it done? We're picked up for uh, 20 more episodes in fifth season, yeah. Are you, so you're done shooting it already? Are you no, pursuing? they start in... Um, in June, start of June. But there's another, there's 20 episodes in season four. So there's another 10 episodes at the end of this year. And then next year, there's another 20 episodes. I DVR them, so then I can just binge watch Oh, really? Them. Oh, yeah. Oh, otherwise, go. I would go crazy yeah. if I have to wait every week just to watch one episode. Oh, there so you the go. best way you DVR and then you binge them. Watch, I agree. A lot uh, of shows watch. are great to watch like yeah. that. Yeah. So what was it like to, to shoot Vikings in the cold weather? Yeah, it was pretty chilly, but it was great fun. The people are so nice. I'd do anything in Ireland. They're great. They've got a great sense of humor and um, just great people to be around. It makes a big difference when you spend so many hours every week for long periods uh, together. You have a lot of fans, especially when you have a lot of Vietnamese Aussie living in Australia. Yeah. Can you let them know what's the life like here for you in LA versus in Australia? Like, um, what sort of changes you have to accommodate? I don't know, I feel like everybody where you grow up, that's where you're most natural and your friends all get what you're about. Um, LA is good, it's good weather. Mm -hmm. it's not, I'm not a city person, so most cities I'm not a fan of. Even though they're wonderful for a few days, I'd just rather be home and quiet and, you know, I'd like to just be in space where you're alone. What do you miss about Australia, being in Australia? Uh, food, mate, people? Oh, the food for sure, actually. What, what yeah, kind of food, food. Uh, I just like say? how fresh it is in Australia. Bread's better, fruit's better, you know, and especially when you live in a country, everything is right next to you. Mm. Organic. So <laughs> yeah, organic, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> apples <laughs> I don't and apples to me. But, um, 
I thought vegan was a girl first. What? Yeah, I thought it was a name of a girl. But um, the food is so fresh and it doesn't have to be traveled, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, we had orchards on the farm when we were kids, we had chickens, all that stuff. And, you Did know. you have to like literally kill these animals to, in order to have fresh meals every day? We hypnotized them oh. and they just go down and then we ate them. That, that reminds me, grew up in Kansas, I had to help my parents literally cut either chicken or duck throat and I was horrified really? because, really? yeah. Yeah, I talk ass to death. You're like, why do I have to do that? Yeah, I'm not no, gonna no, eat no, that. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> That's what happens if you want to eat, you know. But, um, yeah, I like chickens. Okay. And among others, right? Yeah. Okay. Chickens and cows. <laughs> okay. Good to know. So now, uh, I heard that you just finished Warcraft. Yeah, I just did a, uh, a Duncan Jones film for um, Universal and Legendary Warcraft that comes out on June 10th. Yeah. And so you will be very busy from now onward. Yeah, a lot of publicity stuff, and um, that's a great film. Mm -hmm. Really, really fun to make. A different, a lot of CGI and. There's nine-foot orcs and um, and uh, griffins and creatures and it's one wow. of those avatar type of films. Wow. It's got a great love story and, and stuff in it, so um, I look forward to people seeing that. Thank you, Travis, and congratulations to your great success. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you so, so much. All right.